Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out, guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. Hey friend, welcome to Habit Hack Thursday. I hope you have a pen and paper handy, ready to jot down some notes about these tips I'm going to be sharing today, all around habit hacking around the way you eat, okay? I've always truly believed that the way you eat is a form of self-care and self-love, but sometimes we don't give ourselves that a lot of times, do we, friend? No, (laughs) I'm speaking just from my own experience, hearing from um, ladies in my community and my clients as well. And gang, it's okay. (laughs) This is something I think we all have battled with at some point in our life. I think the standard American diet of processed foods and convenience and being quick, quick, quick and always on the go and diet culture that we've grown up with, or maybe you haven't grown up with, but I think most folks have, it's really misconstrued the way we see food. And so today I'm gonna share some quick tips to help you establish some new habits around the way you eat. That way it's more so as a form of self-care and self-love versus a place of guilt or punishment for your body. Before we get into those tips, I wanna remind you that the new plant-based Whole30 Anytime course is live and ready for you to go at any time. So if you are interested in reestablishing what your habits and relationship with food look like, but you're coming from a plant-based perspective, or maybe you've done a traditional Whole30 in the past and you wanna give it a go, give yourself a challenge from a plant-based way of living and see how it feels different on either protocol. Either way is great to go, but this is a really wonderful way for you to really evaluate how many legumes can I eat in a day? Am I really eating too many processed foods as a plant-based person? So many different views on eating a plant-based lifestyle. You can go back a couple of episodes to hear my own experiment um, doing a plant-based Whole30 in January. Spoiler alert, if you didn't know already, I didn't finish it, but that's okay. I got that data about myself, which I'm always loving to learn about. So gang, you can go to bit.ly slash PB as in plant-based Whole30 Anytime to purchase that Whole30 Anytime course. Whole30 HQ is launching their first ever plant-based Whole30 on March 1st. You can go through the program with me as your virtual accountability course coach going through the course, or if you're thinking, nah, plant-based is not necessarily for me, no worries, girlfriend, you can do the original, the OG Whole30 Anytime course. It's all linked in the show notes for you, but I would love to be able to help you on this journey to establishing some healthier habits around food and the way you view food and getting you to that point of food freedom. Okay, gang, everything's linked in the show notes. Let's get into these habit hacks to help you think about eating as a form of self-care or self-love. Now, like I mentioned, gang, a lot of times when we think of food, we come from a place of guilt or we come from a place of punishment. We see food as either good or bad. And guess what? Food has no morality. It's neither good or bad. It's just food. It has like no soul, no personality. It's just food. It's just the way we view food. Food, okay? A lot of times we come from a place where we start restricting because we're thinking, oh, I was good or I was bad for eating this or doing that, so now I'm not going to eat anything. But I think the overall arching theme that I have personally experienced and what I've seen with my clients 
is coming from a place of emotional eating. Our emotions sometimes trigger the way we eat. You know, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm celebrating this. I get a treat. Or, oh, I started my period. I'm going to go get myself <laughs> this. Or, oh, I'm having a really hard week. I'm going to self-soothe with this. Or, oh, my kids are stressing me out this week. Or I have work deadlines. I'm going to, you know, do some convenience foods, which is okay, to help me cope and make my life a little easier. But I know it's going to make me feel like crap later, right? Sometimes food is just triggered by our emotions. So I wanted to give you a few tips to help you overcome this, to have it hack your way into thinking of food as a form, the way you eat as a, as a form of self-love or self-care. So have a plan in place is my first tip for you, okay? Have a plan in place. I'm not talking about meal prepping for hours on end, because girl, I know you don't got <laughs> time to do that. We actually did a workshop on meal prepping in the Self Transformed Facebook community. If you want to join us over there, there's a link in the show notes. But I talked about the way that I meal prep there to make it easy, to make it not last for hours at a time. That way I have food ready to go to help when my kids are busy with sports and we are running around doing all of the the things. I also dig deep into this within um, any of my Whole30 courses, but especially in Self Transform You, my signature program, because we kind of have it hack food and meal prepping and mindset all wrapped up in one. My second tip for you, slow down and sit down. Slow down and sit down. We're in a hurry, right? How often are you standing and eating or you're eating in your car or you're scarfing down food as fast as you can to get to your next location or do this or that? Slow down, sit down and eat your food. Actually taste it, chew it, <laughs> enjoy it. Have a conversation with your family. I guarantee you probably won't eat as much and you'll enjoy every single bite from there on out. Number three, this is gonna be a little tough love, but stop the processed foods. Okay, just stop it. The standard American diet, I think, is a majority of like sugar and like um, processed corn oils and other stuff that just isn't super great for you. Now, in moderation, that's not, uh, do, what, do what you gotta do, okay? Do what you gotta do as far as like convenience or what is gonna help you. But if that's all you're eating, friend, that is gonna cause a lot of inflammation in your body and you're not gonna feel really well. So focus more so on colorful foods. We're talking about back to that meal prepping, having like some veggies chopped up or having some meat sticks on hand, having some hard boiled eggs. That way you're feeling satiated instead of just um, um, soothing with that sugar high from whatever you're getting because then I guarantee you're gonna come down on the other side. The next tip is to reframe the way you eat. So punishing yourself for too much eating or depriving yourself when you feel like you have ate too much or overworking out for that matter too. We talked about how we see food as good or bad. We're gonna lose that mentality. And the biggest habit hack I have for you today, friend, is all around emotional eating and food freedom, okay? Here's your big action item, the way you can hack this into your life. You know, we talked about having a plan and meal prepping, but true food freedom, when I'm thinking of food freedom, means eating foods to help me feel my best and enjoying the foods that help me feel happy and my best. So, you know, I talk about chocolate chip cookies and margaritas all the time because those are two of my favorite things. And did you all know that National Margarita Day was on 2 22 oh, Perfect. And it was Taco Tuesday. I cannot even. You, 22 is like my lucky number. All of this, all the stars aligned. But I digress. So when we're thinking of true food freedom, that means, okay, I can enjoy my cookies. I can enjoy a margarita. I'm just not going to drink a whole pitcher of margaritas. I'm not going to eat the whole package of cookies. That's what food freedom means. But a lot of times we have trouble finding food freedom because of those things I listed above, and especially when it comes to emotional eating. We're, the way we eat is sometimes triggered by our emotions. We're, a lot of times we're, <laughs> we're um, mad, we're sad, we're lonely, we're tired we're angry so of these other emotions and we use food to self-soothe so what I'd like for you to do is take out a piece of paper and a pen and every time you go to eat something I want you to write down your feelings that now it may feel woo-woo or kind of like okay whatever Emily but seriously even just take writing it down in your planner what you ate and when and what you were feeling at that time and if you were actually hungry, I mean, in most cases, you might not even been hungry. But I want you to track that over a week and see if you see some patterns. You know, maybe if you're getting off a work call, you always go right to the cabinet and get like a granola bar, even though you're not hungry, but you like the chocolate chips in it. 
just speaking from experience, or maybe, you know, you're always eating when you're on the go because you're stressed out and you're, you're, you're afraid you're going to be hangry later and you have to do it now because you're just so stressed out from getting your kids to practice and driving and traffic. Okay. I want you to write down every time you eat and what emotions you were feeling and track that over a week. See if you see any consistencies there and then you can come join me in any of my programs to help you reestablish those habits and relationship around food gang i haven't announced this yet i'm going to put it here for you since you stay till the end the next round of self transform you my signature four-week program is relaunching on march 21st i can't wait Uh, hopefully it'll be warm by then i am just feeling spring right now i'm tired of the cold weather but if you're not sure what self transform you is you can go to self transform you it's the letter u dot dot com to learn a little more but pretty much we go week by week reestablishing a custom health plan for you all backed by proven habit strategy to actually make this work in your life and we do cover food freedom and we do cover movement mindset and what to do when you lose motivation i have a whole system that we follow so at the end you have your own your own not sally not Susie's, your own custom health plan that's going to stick with that habit strategy not just at the end of the four weeks but for life and having a plan to pivot when life will change because it will <laughs> so if you're interested go to self or you can text me at 773-904-2157 so thank you so much so log that food over the next week, not like we're logging macros or anything. We are logging emotional eating triggers. So logging that food, this is an exercise we actually do in Self Transform You as well. So I hope this is really useful for you. I hope this is a really good habit hack for you to start doing when you are eating. That way you're able to get the data, see what's triggering this emotional eating, and start changing the way you vo- you view food and eating and start viewing it more so as a form of self-care and self-love. I hope you found today very useful. Always come join us over in the community. I'd love to see you over there. And gang, I'll see you all starting next week in that plant-based Whole30. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message anytime. I can't wait to get started with y'all. All All right, I'll see you next week. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you love today's show and know your girlfriends need to hear this message too, then grab a screenshot, post it to your Instagram stories and tag me at Emily Nichols 22 because the more mamas out there hearing this message, the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup. Or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.